What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here, back with another mukbang video, back here in Korea. It's good to be back, but it's kind of bittersweet. Um, I'll talk about my trip in America here in a little bit. But anyway, today I'm going to be eating Korean style toast, which is not what you might think of when you think of toast. This is more like a breakfast style grilled cheese type of fusion street food type of snack, I guess. I don't know what you classify it as, but um, it's pretty popular here in Korea. And basically what it is, it's kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich with, um, you know, eggs, cheese, and other various maybe meats or, you know, vegetables even. Um, so I got three different kinds from a place called Isaac Toast, which is the most popular chain of this kind of sandwich. And I got the ham and cheese. This is like the, the plain Jane. I got the bacon best and I got the ham special, I believe. I just asked for the most popular ones and this is what she cooked up for me. Um, this is the place I went to, by the way. This is how it looks. It's just a kind of hole in the wall place. And you'll see this a lot in Korea if you ever come here. Just on the side of a random street or in a subway station or whatever. Kind of like street food, but more of like side of the street food, I would say. Anyway, let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to start out with this ham and cheese. So if you open it up here, you got some ham. You got some egg over here, and you got some really nice looking melted cheese. Well, I think it looks nice. Any cheese that is melted looks nice to me, so let's try this out. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Alright, alright. This was only $7, by the way, for all, all this food. Mm. I'll tell you what, if you're hungry, looking for kind of a greasy, like buttery, you know, cheesy kind of breakfast sandwich, then this might be a great place to go. Uh, I gotta say one thing, I think the butter they use is kind of like sweet butter. There's also corn on here or something, but yeah. Uh, it has kind of a, a hint of sweetness to it, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of that, honestly, but it really um, is unique, a unique little spin on a breakfast sandwich. So I can appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this uh, bacon best. So if you look, open up this uh, top piece of bread here, you see a lot of like cabbage. It looks almost like the cabbage you would see in coleslaw. Um, some very <laughs> weakly cooked bacon. Maybe you British folks would like that. Uh, and then you have the cheese again on the bottom below this egg. And yeah, so <laughs> really, really a unique thing. Let's try this one out. I gotta be honest, if I wasn't hungry, I don't know what I would think about these. Right now, I'm just really hungry. This is kind of like breakfast for me, so I'm really enjoying it, but if I wasn't hungry, I don't know. I think it would be it would be very weird, actually. I mean, you can make this kind of stuff at home pretty easily. It's like nothing that you wouldn't, you know, you'd have all the ingredients at home, probably. Uh, this one is really looking crazy because it has pickles on it. And this is basically the same as this one, except instead of bacon, it has ham and pickles, which... I'll tell you what, sometimes I feel like Korean people just throw on just random ingredients and they think it works but let's try it out maybe it does wow korean toast it's very interesting very interesting probably top 10 most interesting um, Korean like fusion dishes I've had because I would say this is like a, a fusion dish right anyway if you're interested in it you can probably look up some recipes or if you come to Korea you'll see it a lot so try it out if you want uh, anyway I should probably talk about my trip to America a little bit um, you know I want to apologize right off the bat for being kind of absent on YouTube For a couple of weeks there, I only up uploaded a couple of videos. I only filmed three videos when I was over there in America. 
Uh, I wasn't really sure, you know, I didn't have any plan on wh how I was going to film when I was over there. I just wanted to play it by feel, and that's what I did for the most part. Hmm. Yeah, this really is just like coleslaw. So coleslaw, cheese, uh, bacon, and egg. Anyway, it's actually not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I got over there in America and, you know, I was really kind of busy with a lot of stuff. Especially right off the bat, traveling, traveling around a lot. And not only that, you know, I just really wanted to focus all my attention on spending quality time with my family, you know, my parents, my brother, and my friends who I haven't seen in a long time. It's been like two years since I was in America before that. So, you know, <clears throat> for me, it's not like I haven't vlogged vacations before. I've definitely vlogged a couple of my vacations and I'm not a very good multi, I'm a terrible multitasker. So whenever I try to do a vlog, that becomes my main priority and it's all my brain can think about you know what i'm saying like no matter what i'm doing it's always the first thing on my mind like where what kind of angles can i get what kind of shots can i get you know what i'm saying like waiting for something crazy to happen so i can catch it on camera and not really enjoying the experience you know there are plenty of people who can probably do that plenty of vloggers out there but at least for me right now I'm not able to do that. So for this trip, I just wanted to, you know, forget about that and just focus all my attention on, on the peeps, you know, live in the moment, you know what I'm saying? So I do apologize, but I don't regret, you know, not feeling very much, you know, I'm satisfied with what I did because, you know, I had a really great time. Um, yeah, it was uh, just really relaxing and really just great to spend some quality time with people I haven't seen in a long time. So what I did, I'll tell you what I did. It was really busy from the start because I got to Chicago around lunchtime. My parents picked me up at the airport. We went to meet my brother and my boy Jake. Got some food, uh, hung out in Chicago for a little bit. And I spent the night, we went to Top Golf, which is a kind of a cool thing that I wanted to check out. I'll try to throw up some like images or videos. Like I only took a couple random video clips and pictures here and there, but I'll try to throw them up. Um, that was really cool. Slept, spent the night at my brother's apartment and then woke up the next day and went straight to uh, St. Louis. Because there was that big solar eclipse, you know? I guess this is kind of old news by now. But near my hometown, a few hour drive away, is uh, was the path of like totality or whatever. Um, so we went down there, drove down there with my parents and my brother, spent the night in a little crappy motel, the Pear Tree Inn, and woke up the next day real early to go see the eclipse. And it was it was cool, I mean, I can't lie. It was definitely, I'm happy I saw it. Um, there were some good prominences with it, but I didn't really have like a, a spiritual experience or any, anything, which I heard some people had, like they had a life-changing moment when they saw it. But for me, it was just like, it's pretty cool, you know? Never seen anything like it. And uh, I appreciated it, but I didn't really have any like deep connection with the universe or anything. It only lasted like a couple minutes, which I mean, I knew it was, I knew that's how it was gonna be, but it also didn't get as dark as I expected. But you know, it still got pretty dark, so I mean, it was cool. Um, I would recommend, I would recommend you to see it, but I wouldn't travel more than like, I wouldn't make a trip, well, more than you know, five hours to see it, four or five hours. That's how how long we drove, and that's probably a good amount. After that, we drove back up to my hometown. Or not back up to my hometown, but just up to my hometown. A few hour drive and spent a couple days up there. 
out to see my dog after a couple of years, and he didn't know what was going on. Um, didn't really do anything special, hung out with uh, some peeps, spent time with the fam. And then after a couple of days, I went back up to Chicago, took the train with my brother to hang out, you know, have some more days in Chicago and to see the fight, the big fight. This is also old news, but the the big uh, fight of fight of the of the century, the millennium, maybe biggest fight since David and Goliath. Some say uh, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. So we had like seven, like the whole the whole gang, you know, the whole squad up there for a while. It was crazy. Up in my brother and my boy Jake's apartment. It was, we got BHB, we had Mindy, we had Bees, we had Weave, and me, my brother, and Real Deal. It was crazy. Uh, real fun. Good seeing that squad again, man. Real good. It's been many years and might be, I don't know when the next time I'll get to see him is, so. That was really cool. The fight was kind of disappointing to me. I'm not a huge fight guy. I'm not real big into MMA, but I have watched UFC many times. However, I don't think I've ever watched one like full boxing match. So I'm used to, you know, having kind of more hardcore fighting, you know? People going down to the ground, getting real messed up. So when they I thought they called the fight pretty early. I mean that's probably standard boxing, right? But I was like, at least, I wanted to see someone get knocked out, basically. I didn't care who, just someone. But it was cool. Um, we also went out another night, checked out the Chicago scene. I apologize if you're watching, I ran into some people, so, some like girls. And um, yeah, I think I might have had a few too many drinks in me. A few too many shots at that point. So, so I, I don't know what happened, but I think I... I was acting the fool a little bit. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, mm. Then I went back to Galesburg. My ho my hometown is like so. Here's Chicago. Here's my hometown, and here's St. Louis. They're all probably like three, four hours apart. So I was going like back and forth and back and forth. Went back to my hometown. Uh, for the final like week I was there <clears throat> and just really kicked it Hung out with um, my family a lot my parents Really nice I fell into that mix real quick, you know It wasn't uncomfortable for me at all, you know, I'm used to living by myself here in Korea no rules, you know but I don't know. I, I didn't have any problems. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Before I, I went there, I was thinking, you know, could this be, like, uncomfortable for me? I didn't, didn't know how it was going to be, but it was it was great. I uh, also spent a lot of time with my boy Weave. A.K.A. the amazing big man. Uh, we played a lot of golf together. We played four actual rounds of golf. First time I've ever played golf on an actual course, and it was amazing, I gotta say. I don't wanna talk too much golf, because I don't think too many of you guys are into it, but, wow, Good just shot. being out in the open on a wide open course, not many people around, actually barely anybody around, like, such a different, such a contrast between, you know, soul and, and that. And I was savoring every minute of it. Had some good shots, had some bad shots, but overall just great. Um, what else? Didn't really do anything crazy when I was in my hometown, though. Not really much to do. Had some good eats, though. Had a lot of good food. One of my favorites was probably my mom's curry. I, I mentioned that in another video. She cooked that up for me. Good, as always. Mm. 
Steak and Shake. Oh, an old classic that I, I've i loved ever since a kid, I was a kid. And my mind, I still haven't gotten over the fact that you can get a triple burger and fries for $4 at Steak and Shake. And just American food prices in general. Like, I was loving the food. And the prices. Insane. Maybe not really, but to me it was. Because I'm used to paying like double, triple, quadruple for subpar food over here. Like American food. What can you expect? I know, but still. It was, yeah, it was really, really nice. I feel like though, if I was in America for, if I lived there, I could get real big, real hefty. Mmm, no. One of those days in Chicago, we got two, like, extra, extra large pizzas that were, like, seriously this big. I think they were, like, 15 bucks each or something crazy like that. I was like, wow. I got Little Caesars, too. That's an old classic as well. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of good food. Some good Mexican food. That's one thing that you can't really get around here. Well, you can, but not like in America, you know. Mm. Cooked out a couple times, made some steaks, some burgers, brats, brat burgers. Out of my boy Sam T's place. <clears throat> Played some bags, you know, just caked it. Like good old fashioned kicking it. You can't really do that out here. You can't really just chill in the backyard drinking a beer and playing bags and cooking you know, cooking some some steaks. You can't really do that out here. Very easily. And out there in America, or where I'm from. Which is what you do, so it was really nice and Like I said, I just tried to savor, savor every every moment. I probably missed out on a lot of things I did over there. Just slipping my mind right now, but yeah, just a great trip. I went to a sh uh, food truck festival in Chicago as well. That was cool. I want to go back. I really want to go back sometime in the, in the near future when I'm not so, I don't know how to, how to say, like, if I go back next month, I'm not going to go back next month, but if I did, I wouldn't be so, like, awestruck by, oh, wow, I'm back in America. I'd be more used to it, and then I could get down to filming some, some decent videos. Like, I, there are many things I wanted to film, but just, like, I was, I never wanted to, to, you know, say, oh, I'm busy with this to my parents or my brother, or my friends. I got to film a video. Hold on. Like, maybe, maybe tomorrow. You know, I never wanted to do that. So, but if I go back sometime in the near future, I will do that. I hope. If I go back, I'm going to, there's so much, so many, you know, food videos and, and stuff I would like to film. So, Hopefully I can go back in the next like year or something. Because, you know, it's nice being back here in Korea, but like I said, it was bittersweet <clears throat> leaving, coming back. Positives and negatives. Anyway, I hope you guys <laughs> uh, were able to sit through that. You know, I think I was just talking my, talking your ears off, perhaps. Didn't really focus on the food too much in this video, more on the the talking I guess so if you're not really into those kind of videos I apologize one thing that I do want to do before I end this video is give a few shout outs to people on patreon I've really been slacking on that sorry if I haven't given you a shout out in the last few videos but uh, I'm saving it for now uh, Alessio uh, Elsa David and Sarah and also Connor thank you guys so much for supporting my patreon really appreciate 
appreciate it and appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.